This is Heron Odjek. He is a school dropout who founded Betmort, a small startup based in Uganda's northern district of Lira. His business recycles plastic bottles to create interlocking pavers and bricks. His aim, he says, is to reduce deforestation. He is among the winners of last year's Afri Innovation Challenge. When you get some opportunity, utilize it. Do not miss. When you tried something, then you fail. That is not the end. Keep on, keep on thinking, looking another solution. Majority of these small startups in the country lack affordable and accessible financing. According to officials here, supporting innovations using donor funds is in part solving the problem. So for the first 10 teams that were, that were astounding in their performance, they will receive $500 each. And then the first, second and third will receive $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, courtesy of the Zurich Foundation. And then we were able, last year when we finished the, the project, we were able to hold the inaugural Africa Youth, Afri Youth Challenge as JA Africa. And uh, Uganda won it. So our team from Lira that we fronted as the best team last year won the inaugural Afrinovate Challenge and they won themselves 5,000 US dollars. They also won the most innovative and won themselves another 1,000. These youth are taken through apprenticeship sessions by Junior Achievement Uganda and observers are optimistic these interventions will in the long run help reduce joblessness in the country. Many of these things are things our youth do not have and I think a program like this one is going to really help to better the youth economic uh, potential because they will be skilled, they will have uh, what it takes to run a business from an early age and by the time they are getting into running their own businesses that are fully fledged and running big amounts of money, they will have the skills that are required. But there could be those people who have already money. Now when they come to commercialize these products, these innovations, these people who started should not fall out or should not be just um, put away. Through such initiatives, Heron Ojek and the others coming after him, it is hoped will use their hard-earned skills to support the growth of Uganda's economy, where an estimated 35.5% of the labor force is engaged in entrepreneurship. Marco Musime, NTV Tonight, Business.